Hello Knitters, this is WJ and I'm showing you how to do a Pico on my crochet socks when you're knitting them two at a time on one circular needle. So you have your socks and your yarn and then you need two double points. Those are both size ones, uh, which is the same size that I'm using here. It can also help if you go down a needle size, um, but that's a personal preference thing. So you can see I've pulled the tip of this out just so that I get some curve there, a little bit of flexibility. And then you come down in front and you go under that tail and that's your first stitch. And then slip into each of those little cast-ons. And this is why I use backward loop cast-on because it's so easy to pick up. I have about 30 other reasons too, but in this case it's because it's so easy to pick up. All right, so you just pick up a couple and then you bring it up through the center so that it's behind the work. And see, I lost my little tail, so I wrap my little tail around again because the tail is really the first one. Pull out some uh, length there. Then you go in through the front, in through the front, and knit them together and slide them off. In through the front, in through the front, knit together, slide off, just like that. And you're going to keep doing that until you're most, you've knit off most of those little pickups. But then before you are out of them, you want to go and pick up a couple of more. Uh, not loading up your needle with everything just makes the whole thing a little bit easier to do. It makes it a little easier to manipulate. All right, so I have done the hem for the first side. You can see I'm coming to the corner. And before you knit those off and start picking up for the second sock, you want to come around to the back and go ahead and pick up a fair few to get you around the corner. If you don't do that, it just to me it's a lot trickier to pick them up going around a corner. So come back. And knit the last two off. Okay, and then we're we're gonna just leave that for a minute and see that folds back to go with the rest of those. Pull that needle out to advance it a little more and then I'm going to start picking up right here the same way that I did on the other side. Alright, so I've just done the first half of the hem on the second sock and I'm going to turn my work the way that I would for any normal row and get things organized a little bit. And then I'll pull up the back so that that needle moves up. And since I loaded up my double point, it's all ready to go. And I'm just gonna keep going. And I'm going to do the same thing when I reach the start of the second half of the hem on the second sock. All right, so now I've done the whole hem on this one and most of the hem on this one. And you can see that I'm getting right down to the end. So I'm going to flip over and it takes a little bit more dexterity to pick up the last couple but you see that one right there that's the last one now you could have folded this tail in and hidden it a while ago but I like to leave it out because sometimes that first stitch works its way loose a little bit and then that way you can just give it a tug and then it's very easy to pop it in and hide it all right so I'm just doing the last two And goodbye to the double pointed needle. 
And there you go. That's doing Pico Hems two at a time. And I don't know if you can tell this, but it's already so much easier to manipulate the needles just because there's a little bit more weight of yarn on them. So they're ready to go. I'm ready to start my leg pattern.